Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Here we go. We're going to uh, get right back into Hogwarts Legacy. This is episode five of the Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting Doc Shakespeare and the Doc Shakespeare stream. If you want to watch episodes one through four, please go to the uh, Doc Shakespeare YouTube channel. Check those out. You can watch them anytime you like. Thank you for being here. Like, follow, subscribe. Subscribers get subscriber-only content and admission to the uh, Doc Shakes Only fans group. Um, where uh, subscriber-only content is dropped for you and only you. Thank you all for being here. And here are we uh, go right into it, everybody. This is Doc Shakespeare. You are loved. You are important. Let's do this thing, huh? Alright, when last we met, we were supposed to tickle the pair to get into this room with uh, the nearly headless Nick wants us to go to, to obtain some rotten roast beef. We're doing that. And we're in. A student in the kitchen. What could they want? Never will on the found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know how hungry growing humans can get? Rebellion. There's a lot of house elves. A locked chest. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Your welcome treat. Rebellion. Kitchen tables. When Hogwarts house elves place prepared food on these tables, it is magically transferred to the tables in the Great Hall. Directly above. That seems like cheating, but okay. Rebellion. I'll literally eat and drink anything you put in front of me. Don't care. We'll eat. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Yeah, it's probably over there, but... I'm looking for everything else first. House Elf Living Quarters. Ever practical and creative, the Hogwarts House Elves have created a cozy village-like home for themselves among these barrels in the Hogwarts kitchens. Of course, one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside, as House Elves have an extraordinary magic of their own. Pardon me, but can you point me to the rubbish? None such was just about to dispose of today's collection. It's towards the back. Help yourself, I suppose. Thank you, trash goblin. I mean, house elf goblin. Revelio. Hmm. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Here's a welcome treat. It smells glorious in here. Glorious. Glorious! Alright, well. We gave it a go. Oh, I suddenly put all the food on the tables. Like it's about to be dinner time up up top. Oh, a student? What 
a treat. What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Vic sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Finky supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, Students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. To meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Rebellion. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. Here's a welcome treat. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it.
Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come and try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want as if i need to ask um it, it's richard jackdaw uh, where can we find him uh, may we speak to him jackdaw eh why here he is now what a shame without his head i bet you've always wondered what that's like eh nick <laughs> <laughs> sir you jazz <sighs> It's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift alone. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you. If I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite... Yeah. <laughs> but, sir, I... Oh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Ironic, really. Never been as level-headed as I... Head puns. That's what we're looking for. Really just want more head puns. Who will be next to play our little game of hide-and-seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they let me be in charge. 
If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Incendio. Whatever you say, Dumfrey, this is not my finest moment. No match for you. I've never seen a place like this. How delightful. Here we go again. Keep looking. You're sure to find him. Never seen it played like this. How delightful! done but what's going on you're not a member of the headless hunt no i'm not sir nicholas said you might know the location of some pages i'm looking for merlin's beard i know precisely the ones you mean i pinched them from peeves how could i forget the map on those pages led me to my demise i was not ready for what awaited me in that cave the pages are likely still moldering away with my uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. 
How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, a bombs, penchant. suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran by. He has a penchant. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. But what if he had a penchant for it, huh? I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. We've done it. Now we're ready. Now that everybody's seen that good, good Doritos content. I'm sorry. Sheesh, I'm hungry. Need here I come. Only five hundred meters away. Fast travel, son. Often another.
Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Stupid Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Get out of my town. I'm okay leaving those spiders alone. What's up here? Revelio. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Inframuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going.
bunch of centaurs. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Revelio. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Revelio. Nice to see you, my young friend. Intramuros. Those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. Revelio. Enter. I wonder how big this place is. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. I wonder. 
wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Incendio. Got him. I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. Rebellion. Spider Fang. Platform ought to be able to float straight to me. Sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Might as well. Rebellion. Incendio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him.
Repair her. Rebellion. Revelio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? It's a good thing Jack Daw didn't fall down there. Rebellion. An untouched chest. Tactor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Akio.
Rebellio. skeleton in sight hmm. but I may as well help myself to this rebellion incendio Accio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Akio! Rebellion. An untouched chest. Tactal wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Rebellion. I'm tired of extra places. Let's put on some of this extra gear we got here. Way better, not as better. Thirty nine. Those on Earth. Worse. 
Better at 18. Whoa. That Quidditch uniform is top of the pops. That's legendary. Nice. Onward. Revelio. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. A skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. I'm full of loot again. 
It was all full of loot. It is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what beheaded Richard Jackson. Stoop to him. Actually got hit. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Revelio. That one's tooth. It's underground. Let me 
guess not. I guess I can't go down there. Oh yeah, I can. No? No. Rebellion. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I'll need to look around for the symbol. Closer to Jack Dawes' remains and those pages. Revelio. There's Jack Dawes looking dead as ever. What happened here? Might it happen again? Biggins. Um, what? That's some nothing. What's happening? Rebellion. I've seen this before in Gringotts and the restricted section.
Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Revelio. Getting deep now. Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic is unlocked. Plus one talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend in the talents menu in your field guide. Well, that's good. I'm already level like 18, so hopefully I get some talents. You have earned plus one talent points starting at level five. You may spend those. How oh, good. I do have 13 talents. Uh, you may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells, to increase your combat power, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may only be spent once, so the number of talents you acquire will be limited. Return here often to see what new and powerful talents await you. The Gryffindor in the Graveyard. Okay, so um, this point in the story, if anybody is with me, is where you need to get to in the main story quest is where you need to get to with all four houses of Hogwarts in order to get 
each of the trophies that will allow you to get the platinum. So you have to play. You have to play as all four houses. You have to start four new games in order to get the platinum for this. And you have to get this trophy, the one I just got for completing this quest for each of the houses. So now I've done it with Gryffindor. Obviously, I'm not going to stop and go back and start all the, all the others all the way through, but you have to get Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin uh, up to this point, too. And you have to be in each of those houses. So it makes the game exponentially longer to have to do that, but here we are. Let's see, what does Core do? Perfect Protego. Stupefied deals direct damage. Basic cast impacts on airborne enemies contribute more to the ancient magic meter. Blocking a spell with Perfect Protego will send two projectiles back at enemies. Increases the range of Revelio. It's always nice. Successfully evading an unblockable attack with dodge contributes to the ancient magic meter. I like that. Enemies struck with stupefy remain stunned for a longer period of time. New spell set is added. Hold R2 and tap in a direction to swap to an unlocked spell set. Oh, so I can have... Oh my... Oh my, I can have so many. That'll help. Basic cast impacts reduce spell cooldowns. Successful Protego blocks will contribute to the Ancient Magic Meter. Ancient Magic Throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. That's pretty cool. Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. Wigan Weld heals you to a greater effect. Always good. I think we definitely want that. Uh, and we definitely want another four set of things. Let's see what else we got going on here. The Dakots. So these are all like all the murder spells. Expelliarmus has the same effect as a curse. Stupefy has the same effect as a curse. Interesting. Transformation, transform into explosive objects. Well, that's hilarious. So I can, <laughs> I can transform people into objects and use them to be thrown at other people and they'll explode. Yeah, that's crazy. Bombarda. I don't really like, I don't have any of this stuff. Casting Incendo unleashes a ring of flame around you. I like that. Enemies near the target summoned by Accio are also pulled to you. And 
enemies near a target levitated by Levioso are also levitated. I like that one too. Alright, so let's go ahead and do all three of those. Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Allows you to sprint while using disillusionment. And enemy is able to detect you is reduced again. And Petrificus Totalis emanates an area of effect that can impact nearby enemies. So those are all okay. Venomous tentacular attacks deal additional damage. Duration of focus potions effect will be extended. Range of damage of the potion effect will be affected. Maximum potion causes attacks to have additional increased damage and break shields. Damage and duration of the incapacitating effect of mandrakes is increased. Disability potions undetectable effect lasts for a longer period of time. Each of the Chinese chomping cabbage thrown a second chomping cabbage is generated and released at no cost. Like that. Endurance potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectiles back to enemies. Alright, alright, alright. So we definitely want... Revealio to increase the range. I only want basic cast to do that. Right. 
talent for spending. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. All right, now we got a fast travel point to the map chamber. Better than a poke in the eye, they say. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Collected those house tokens.
six quest. Now that I'm level 18. Rebellion. Expel the armors. Do the dueling and then we'll call it a night. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio. Instantly. Let me of wand work. I take to face you in a duel. I was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. 
We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. I'm flattered, but I don't deserve such an honor. Come now, you're the undisputed winner. You should revel in your accomplishment. Now that we've definitively crowned a tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. You can't be beat, can you? Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flash, I hope you... Well, we did that, didn't we, chat? We really did that. Hogs need just to sell my stuff. Then we'll do the flying. Then. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, sir. Tiny Dukes.
You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Before you ask, I'm all Why did you buy me a socks. second pair? So I hate you. No, be soft at that price. Can't be puffed up. Be thankful you have Plenty for your perusal today. Right Take your time. You're not dancing. You're exercising. Father, why is he dancing? If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. But it happened. Someone to go back to just like your father. Anyone who thinks you had an affliction. Has he been hurt? Oh, please, can't we take these socks back to Mr. Hill and get me some when normal ones? When you pay for your own socks, then you get to choose. Until then, you'll learn to be thrifty and be able to start to cause a thing. Papa, can we really walk please? Don't be absurd. That woman will say anything to avoid spending her canals. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Whenever you're about. Mm, now we can go to flying class. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, 
Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Well, this'll take some getting used to. <laughs> this is brilliant. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, Let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I don't know about that. I don't know that I want to be. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Whoa. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> Hey, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. 
helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part of the info grip? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tents and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. in our rooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. That wasn't that great, I'll be honest. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Yeah, we're completing those main quests. Halfway through level 18. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery. I thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. It's a lot of mail all at once. And so...
Revelio. Pride of place and Lumos. And you stink. I should demand a rehanging. Professor Sharp terrified. Revelio. Last week, and I almost dropped an entire slobber worm into my cauldron. Lumos. Come with me, little butterfly. Even try to sort this dreadful odor. No, yet I hang in innocence. And chokes. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Revelio. However, I'd only planned to suggest to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? Hmm. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Revelio. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Eugene Evanesco. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Mm. 
Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Revelio. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? A. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try yes, to Professor. again. Sincerely, T. Revelio. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Revelio. Akio. Rebellion. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! <laughs> That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Rebellion. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Rebellion. Rebellion. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps Rebellion. you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Repairer. Rebellion. Incendio. Ah. 
kill. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Rebellion! to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deek, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor. Gianni, thanks for the like. I was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deek was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deek is honored to meet you. Deek has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. I hope this is really what I wanted. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've selected. will be an invaluable resource. <sighs> mm -hmm. I don't have anything for this at the moment.
get that level. Revelio. You're not gonna do it. <laughs> I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Mm, quite perceptive. Quite. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Passing out.
Fucking. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the cart as well. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Justin, I didn't even see you, buddy. Man. Thank you for the 500 stars. That's going to be a loony bomb for you, my friend, forsooth. I hate that I missed that. Man, this... This program sucks. That's what I know for sure. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. <sighs> Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. 
It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Giving me rugs and chairs and tables, mirrors, so much stuff. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough. And we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Got Niffler and the Witch.
Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. at any conjured item and perform the altering spell. Lumos. ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Space might benefit from Would you mind? What are you doing, Go. Deke? Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I 
would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Mm, sounds perfect. Much better. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Alright, I think that's finally going to do it. Did we get 19? Nope. Just a hair whisper away. That's alright, that'll give us something to do tomorrow, chat. We're going to end there in the room of requirement. Keep on trucking. All right, folks. I think that's going to do it today for Hogwarts Legacy. We'll be back this afternoon with more. I'm going to get some sleep now. It's falling asleep at the wheel there a little bit. But uh, thanks for putting up with it and this new uh, episode 5. If you want to catch up with the rest of the playthrough, there's episodes 1 through 4 on the YouTube channel right now. Uh, Doc Shakespeare's YouTube channel. And... Um, this one will be up later today as well. So, thank you all for your time. Thank you, Justin McElroy, for the big 500 stars. Sorry I didn't see it when it happened. Um, this uh, software is hot garbage when it comes to telling me notifications and stuff. But thank you very much for stopping by. Go back to sleep. Get some more sleep, buddy. Uh, but I love you and thank you for the stars and saying hi uh, this early morning. Um, other than that... Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for the likes. And uh, thank you for supporting the stream. This is your old pal Doc Shakespeare taking his final bow. Good night, everybody. You are loved. You are important. Stay safe out there. Safe travels to all of you. I love you. Good night.